Hello, weary travelers. This is your tavern keeper, Bren, at your service. So, while I'm taking a break from uh, Terraria, or at the very least, you know, this is a bit of a side thing, I think I'll open up a new tavern. We're gonna obviously call it Tenkage Tavern. Um. You know what? Let's do let's do it story mode. Let's see what happens. Cuz I have not played this. So yeah, I got this for 3 bucks. I figured, eh, why not? Okay. Uh, I guess I'm not in the tavern or I'm not running the tavern. <laughs> I guess he's my uncle. Oi, uncle! Oh, I guess I am running it. Neat. Serving beer and meals, and I get gold. Okay, I got a lot of gold. Well, for him. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so if I'm very friendly, I'll get more people, but... I might lose more money in the long run. Hmm. I think I'll be the hot spot. Yeah, the big, friendly hot spot. Might look like a rugged and drunk Irishman, right? Tell you, all right. Sprinkles are what makes people come and go. <laughs> I like that line. Oi, great tavern fight. Okay. Works for me. You know what? I like the epic. That sounds nice. Okay, what do we got? Uh, well, we are going to get Wanderers, so let's get a rare beer in. Some roasted chicken. Oh, I guess we're gonna get one. Okay then, let's start a new week. Hey, hello, Selkin. I heard you're gonna quit your job and gift the place to your nephew. You're a new owner, right? Looks like Selkin knows what he's doing. You might just have what it takes to be a tavern here after all. So how about you give me a beer? You know what? You're my first customer. I'm the house! Free beer! Nice! I'll tell my friends about your generosity! Yeah! Yeah. Okay. Okay, so it looks like we just got a nice percentage here, but because we cater to the Wanderers, we get a little extra more money. So now it looks like we have a profit! Sweet! 
Okay, so it looks like we're gonna need to prepare for some more wanderers. because I think we can figure this all out. That's true. So I think we want to try and focus on Wanderers. Ah, he took a lot of his gold. Damn it. Well, see you in a year, I guess. Okay. All right. Let's save. All right. Wow, that is a slow ass hourglass. Okay, what do we got? We can upgrade the furniture. Uh, I don't think we want to get more customers at the moment. Well, I think we do, but I don't know if we can spend the money yet. Okay, how about... Uh, you know, I'm surprised... I'm surprised rogues like yogurt. I mean, I get the roast chicken with the guards and the rare beer from Wanderers. And, you know, some simple folks who like the grapes. But how does yogurt work? Okay, so I'm thinking let's focus on the wanderers and the folks. So, yeah. Well, is there anything else we can do? Change decorations. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Fair enough. Wish I didn't buy that. I meant to buy this. Okay. So now we got a magic sword that's going to give us some more wanderers. But also give us more high grade appetizers. But then I didn't realize that wanderers and folks, they're kind of opposite. <sighs> well, we're learning. Next week, the heated debate has come to your town. Two guilds have an outpost, the Guild of Adventurers and the Guild of Explorers. The debate is which one should be allowed resources since they're both doing the same thing. That being said, the truth is that the Guild of Explorers is a font for less than legitimate activities. So I'm guessing that's going to be our Thieves Guild. Well, go Adventurers Guild! Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we got more customers, more wanderers, and less rogues. Fair enough. And we have made a bigger profit. Okay. Okay. Alright, you know, I'm gonna wait and try and get some more wine. So, we can't upgrade the furniture. So, let's keep moving. A young farm man is at your bar asking for a particularly strong beer. I have to tell him he's of age to drink or not. Uh, look, kid, are you old enough to drink? That smiles, takes the beer, and drinks in one swig. He looks a bit wasted. And he stumbles to a table where his friends greet him with cheers. Well, at least he's in good hands. So I hope nothing bad happens. Okay, we're still making profits. So now... Oh, I don't have enough yet. Shashalin, shalin! 
Oh, Shashalen Shin Shalem? You don't get what this weird speaking stranger wants, but it's probably a beer. Or is it? Um, I'm gonna go with strawberry milk. Shashalen Sugar, thank you! You shrug and resume your daily activities, and I get some extra gold for my trouble. Well, I guess I got it right. Somehow. Wow, I am in the profit. Let's get a little ex a few more customers. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty cool. Looks like uh, people are liking me. Today was a normal day until an old man dressed in an expensive outfit enters your tavern. You realize it's the mayor of the town! But he's not in his usual happy and agreeable mood. He looks so serious and determined that his presence quiets the entire room the moment he enters. The bard stops playing for a second, and everyone looks at him with fear in their eyes. The mayor steps to one of your patrons and begins to look pale when he realizes his situation. They both exchange a few words and leave together. Somehow you feel like you'll never see him again. The rest of the room looks glum, and you can't help but wonder what that was all about. Maybe the few weeks you worked here were enough to make you a few friends. Yeah, I th I'm I'm really curious. What's going on? Later that day, you try to listen to conversations. Few wanderers are, gra are gathered at one of the tables speaking in hushed tones. Take a few beers in your hand and join them. Okay. Hey, Taverner, sorry you had to witness this, but it doesn't happen that often. Thing is, you can't really tell you what happened. You're too much of a stranger this time. You wouldn't understand. <sighs> look, with a thousand gold loose in your tongue, with a look of complicity, you just reach to your gold bag and start counting the coins. Being a local means being invested in local affairs, right? I'm sure I could be convinced to invest in the whole town in an affluent purchase person such as yourself. They hesitate for a moment before greedily grabbing the bag and sharing it between themselves. They start talking again. <sighs> it's tradition. I know it might sound weird, but we have a secret way of dealing with problematic people. Each month, some of us would gather at an underground hall to discuss. There, someone has elected the worst of us, and the mayor takes them away to never be found again. I think they kill him or something. Rumors of an ancient heretic ritual, but I've never been to such a meeting. Okay, this is a bit fucked up. I hope I can pay all the tax. Oh crap, oh crap, that's not good. Oh boy, I am. I lost. I did not make some money. Yikes. Let's hope we can make some back. Sorry, it's three friends playing cards and making bets. Eventually evolved into full of regular gambler means. The problem is that while the gambling isn't exactly illegal per se, it requires an arbiter to make sure there's no cheating going on. The guards would probably be happy if you made it stop entirely. Hmm. You know what? I'd say let there be gambling, but let there be fairness. Alright. So the guards and rogues don't like me, but the folks do. I get a little extra gold for my trouble. Nice. Okay, yeah, the Wanderers are definitely helping me make a lot of the cash I need. So now, let's get some extra wine. And some bananas. An alpha trader of goods comes to your tavern. He is known for his quality of stock as well as extravagant habitat. Bits. My dear Tavernier, I have heard about this place, and it gave me the most wonderful idea for a commercial partnership. He offers you this deal. He provided free advertisements as long as you exclusively buy food from him. Hmm. I don't know. I hate to admit it, but I feel as though this is a bit shady. On the other hand, he is known. Hmm. But if I deal with him, but not exclusively, that could cause problems down. So I, I basically have a choice of either going for it or not going for it. 
You know what? I'm gonna trust the people of this town. I'm sorry. It's not worth trusting, you know, trust the suppliers down. I could simply hire the farmers. I'll have some of my boys teach them how to make better food and they'll continue providing me. With my fee included, of course. Incredibly, in a matter of days, the farmers are provided with tools and with tips and tools to make their harvest so much better. Knowing who to thank for it, folks men pour into your tavern to buy drinks and celebrate your name. So I guess I did good with that. <laughs> nice. Okay, how is everybody doing? A man trapped in black clothes entered my tavern. Hello, sir. May I put a donation box in a counter? It's for the ninja recognition movement. Okay, you know what? As much as I know how shady this is, I'm not going to disagree. I am not going to refuse a ninja. Yeah, sure. Thank you, kind sir. In the coming days, other guys dropped in black come to your now ninja friendly tavern. Yeah, I'm not arguing with ninjas. I don't want to die to a ninja. Yeah. According to your friends, the secret meeting should be tonight. You take your cloak and dagger and start walking the streets, hoping to find a clue. After a moment, you notice most people are going towards the same district and you start following him. Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Well, I guess the losses I can't enter. Oh, I guess I was more professional. I would prefer to be a little more cool, but yeah, that works. Okay, we got some mead. Oh, son, a huge, gruff countryman barges in your tavern. Yaltorn! I know you're here. Give me back my daughter. I swear I'll feed you to the pigs. The man named Yeltorn stands up in the bar and answers, You're denying the lady your thirst for adventure, not. But I'm sad about something I can't stand for. Well, to be honest, they're both causing disruption, but... You know what? To be honest, I'm going with Yeltorn on this one. If someone wants to go on an adventure, they can. Oh. <laughs> Clever. Oh, thank you. Get a little extra cash. And wanderers really like us. I mean, while you're bringing some ale to a patron, hear me out. There's a cat sitting next to you, looking up to you. A female voice starts resonating in your head. Give me fish, human. Give me. Did this cat just talk to me? You know what? You know what? I'm gonna give it a cat. I'll give it a fish. Any elite for today, you feel the improvement of your patrons towards your kind action. Yay! People like me. <laughs> Someone walks into my tavern. He is hurt. Is it bad? You run over to the man and help him stand up. I don't know why I walked right into this tavern wall, he says. Okay. I have no idea what just happened. But I'm pretty cool. <laughs> I mean, look, I'm getting 5% more customers. People love me. Up. Oh. Another meeting. I don't need to bother the guards. So I'm being cool. Okay, so what do I need to do? I, there's gotta be something I'm missing. Hmm. Your regular customers and all the peasant comes to you. Hey, sir, I have a quest for you. My daughter's wedding is approaching. Um, is that wondering if it's possible to host a feast here? 
She agreed to book the entire town for us. Obviously, they'll pay for the entire inconvenience. Huh. You know what? Bring on the feast! But we can't forbid other customers. Family agrees and the wedding occurs. Even if there was no incident, the family may have preferred the bride not be bothered by some of the wanderers. In the end, everybody seems to keep a good memory of the day. <laughs> people, are, people are pretty happy. Huh. Looks like I'm not getting any folks. I'm just getting wanderers and rogues. <laughs> Seriously? Just wanderers and rogues. Okay, I guess. Get some more wanderers. Oh boy. Hey pal, wanna help a friend in need? I just need you to spike my associate's drink with this. No! No, I'm not going to do that! Jackass! I should call the cards on him! Dude, we do not spike drinks! Asshole! What kind of hourglass size a year anyway? That is actually a good question. Um, huh. Okay. Higher but state that my tavern is a respectable and legal establishment. Okay. So now I got an intern, I guess. During the few months you spend as a tavern, you have never seen an occurrence. A real gin, a magical creature said to grant wishes. Hello, Tavender! I wish to drink a beer! That is what this building's about, right? You tell him yes, and for himself, cost you ten gold pieces. Gold pieces? I never heard of them before. Is that a moral thing? It's money, right? I don't have anything. Do you accept wishes as payment? Um. I wish for power! The Jin smiles and small electrical arcs appear. Yes, the wise choice. Material gain is fleeting, but bettering itself is not a good choice. Your wish is granted. Oh, cool. I'm a ma- Huh? Um. Yeah, that should do it. Congratulations, you can now use natural energies and mana. This will allow you to do much more than before. But be careful. Energy is limited. Each week you'll gather five mana points from natural flows. Use them as you see fit. But you should be able to pay 15 mana to skip an event you see no good outcome of nothing else. Me reshipping reality might have attracted the attention of other spellcasters. So make them feel at home. After all, everybody needs a beer once in a while. Just be careful, for powers are never about risks and require balance. Okay, bye bye. Hope you don't fuck over your wish. <laughs> you know what? Let's do a little freestyle. Okay, we'll get some... Yeah. Some customers. Oh boy, a Wendigo. Yeah, I think I have to just. Great. Ah, uh, great. Well, crap. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay, so I gotta be careful. I can't. I can't take another risk like that. Okay. The Annual Beer Festival! Okay! Okay, what should we do? Fabuloso Illusion Destroyer. Three act play by a young lad. The circus show or sword play demonstration. Ooh. What should I choose? Let's go with the illusionist. I like magic.
<laughs> Whoops. The famous pirate Alebeard comes wounded in your tavern. Feeling he has not much time to live, he gives you the map. Probably That probably leads to the taverns of Fulton. Being the best tavern around has its birds. You know what? Let's try and find it ourselves. Eh. Yeah, that is true. At least your tavern now has an awesome fire flag in it. I'm cool with that. Wait, where's the flag? Oh, come on, don't tell me. Oh, come on. There's gotta be a flag. Dude, come on. There's gotta be a kick-ass flag here. J just, come on. So I got mostly wanderers and rogues. Great. Okay. Oh. Wait and see. <laughs> nice. Okay. Yeah, if only I were cooler and more professional. I am I'm good. This is a pretty fun game. I mean it's simple, but I'm enjoying it. Hello, fellow mage. I have forewarned. I have to forewarn you. The apocalypse arrives, and we shall either be its bringers of fallen victims. Will you join me in my crusade to save ourselves or be spin? Fuck you, sp <laughs> Nice. Officially a threat to anyone, anything with magic in it. But hey, a tavernier who can defend himself against magical beings? Now that's gonna bring people. Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, now we can add some more decorations. Alright, let's get some more wanderers in. A crafting station? Okay, okay, that's gotta be a Minecraft reference. Which are you? Oh, hi. Um. What's going on? Look, could you just go, man? Freaking explosive ring like an asshole. Hmm? Oh, great. I have a rat problem. But hey, rat problem is JRPG grade quest material. Deliver a speech to some rookies about the need to begin small, the economics of adventuring, and the fact that a quest well done is a reward in and of itself. And generally manage to convince them to kill all the rats for some experience at a free dinner. They do bother some of the other patrons, but your friendliness towards newbies doesn't go unnoticed by the older and wealthier wanderers. Nice! Okay, maybe we should take out this stuff. Work on upgrading my... Yeah, I'm gonna need some more gold if I want to get this. Okay, I guess I'll wait. Wait and see. Not ready. Where have I heard that music before? Eh, whatever. Oh, great. 
Okay, now I'm pissed. Too strong? I think not. Hey! Hey, assholes! Quit... Quit attacking my tavern! Huh. Nice. <laughs> People really like me. Look, look at that. Look at all the money! Money, money, money. Awesome. Okay. Now we got some various games. So now, we're going to be pretty cool. Eh, sorry. I'm on, I'm on the job. Oh. Maybe I should have. That would have been cool. Um. Huh. Hi. Are you... You look like you're from Azeroth. Hello. I noticed that your tavern's not exploded. You want help? <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I love that. Hello, I noticed your tavern is not exploding. That is awesome! Look, I'm gonna just try and be peaceful. Look, man. After a few minutes, he allowed him to do his experiments in an empty corner. Huh. Great. It still was pretty cool with that. But, didn't make as much money. Yeah. Okay. Am I ready? I am ready. All right, fair enough. Nice. So now I can go to the next meeting. Oh, jeez. Okay, we need... We need a food taster. Yeah. I had to be professional on that one. Okay. Ooh, waitress. That's gonna help. Ooh. bad happened. Hello? Oh. Well. You know what? A letter. Ah, oh, jeez. Ugh. Right. Right. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Screw you, mages. You know, we're just gonna get some grapes in. Oh! Hello, traveler! I wish to drink beer! Oh! You have power, but... Hmm... You made a name for yourself, powerful enemies. Just be careful what you want and what you make of it. You know what? I wish for knowledge. 
That is nothing if you don't know how to use it. I hope you find what you're looking for. Okay, let's see how this worked. It is done. Your magical powers have expanded, though you're still limited by how much money you can harvest each week. But the knowledge of the land will allow you to provide patrons with goods you couldn't imagine before. And your knowledge of magic will allow you to attract beings from beyond our dimension. Oh. Oh, that sounds awesome. Okay, I'm curious. So now we're getting spirits. Yeah. Okay. So now we have fairy liquor. Not actually made out of fairies. There's no proof. Okay. Oh, that guy. I better, uh, better watch him. You gotta be careful. Oh, great. I see nothing but bad things no matter what I choose. So I use my magic to, s to s go forward. <laughs> yeah, that's useful. So our customers. We have 23% spirits and wanderers. So that's pretty cool. They're minding our own business when a red and small burly demon and blue lanky demon. I'll tell you, old chap, there's no mere beverage that could beat the fleshy reference of hurry and meat. And I still maintain that this opinion's on a form. Sadly, meat is more strictly superior to every other food. Uh, why don't you sell it around a very worldly meal? Whoa, crap. They're from the dimension of food critics. Wow. What a, what a bunch of dicks. What a bunch of dicks. These are doing well with the money. Okay. Let's not interfere with traditions. I'm not gonna mess with them. That's better. Something a little more simple. I mean, I like the whole epic, but yeah. Okay, we're gonna get some more spirits. Hmm? Yeah, let's enhance the fireplace. Oh, great. I screwed that one up. <sighs> yeah, this is getting a little more tricky. 
Ah, great. All right, you know what? Hey, Wanderers! You want to help me out a bit? Oh. Disguised as a waitress. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was a bad call. Okay, and I'm still not cool. <sighs> At least I'm making profits. Oh. Hi. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm gonna just do something about it already. Oh my god. Yeah, that's pretty funny. However, I lost some money over it, but totally worth it. Totally worth it. Oh. Um. I'm not really that much of a politician. Duck the fourth, the drunk. Really? God damn it. I really should have done a little better with that. Well, I'm 50% cooler. I am really normal human. I want beer. Uh-huh. Well, if he wants a beer, I I will give it to him. He proceeds to drink the beer on his body, clattering the... F I drank beer! I want human normal dinner now, because I am new for you. <laughs> oh, well. Here is 10 gold. <laughs> and I lose more money. <laughs> I'm at least pretty cool, like... Okay, let me just let's say I'm ready. I am! Let's get this started. Ugh. Yeah, there's no way I'll manage to convince them. Yeah, I need answers and we don't have much time. Okay. So, we are going to focus actually hold on what do we what do we got yeah we're gonna okay if we just focus on the wanderers all right let's hope this works You know what? Boom! I'm skipping it. I'm not gonna. I don't have to deal with it. Okay, we're getting more wanderers. Ah, oh, jeez. Uh. 
Oh boy. You know what? This is neutral. Hey. Look. Look, if a devil and an angel want to get together and make Bayonetta, I don't care. And yes, I know she's a witch. Yeah, her. She came from witches, but it's a joke. I'll explain it to everyone. I never should have got became a mage. Okay, more customers. That means we're paid more. Okay, I'm ready. You know what? We got a lot. We are of the wanderers. Okay. Huh. Sweet. Okay. Focus. Jin was an asshole. Okay. I did a little good. Mayor, I hope you're okay because I don't know what to do. And we got four weeks. So let's just try and get through it. No, I don't know any of them. What the hell? Well, I'm fine. Oh. You know what? I don't want to get involved. I'm done. I don't want to get involved. I just want these two weeks to end. <sighs> you know... Okay. Look. This is too much to handle in a simple tavern. <sighs> God damn it. Okay. Last week. Hi. Yeah, he's the mayor. Oh! Oh, boy. Oh, crap. Well, looks like I didn't beat the game. I was too late. Okay, so next time I'm gonna... Next time I try this on my own, I'm gonna have to be a lot more careful. So for three bucks, I'd say this was worth it. Till next time, I guess.